Seltzer.
seven on all kinds of baby purpose, you invented whoever you think you are out of ingredients you couldn't choose by a process you can't control. All you really say is, love me for myself alone. Eight, it is also possible to uninvent yourself by a process you can't control. <laughs> Nine, but you invented Leo. Forget it. Leo is one of his uh, names uh, that he used in the poem because he was uh, Leo with the red hair and he was triple Leo astrologically. Big Leo. Okay, I think I'm almost finished. I know a man's supposed to have his hair cut short. I know a man's supposed to have his hair cut short, but I have beautiful hair. <laughs> I like to let it grow into a long bronze mane. In my boots, in my blue wool shirt, with my rifle slung over my shoulder among huge boulders in the dark ravine. I'm the ghost Roan Stallion, Leif Erikson, the beautiful golden girl. In summer, I usually cut it all off. I do it myself with scissors and a little Jim Bean. <laughs> How disappointed everyone is. Months and months go by before they can worry about my hairdo. And the breeze is so cool. Uh, just a little tale. I remember Lou would periodically come up to the apartment on Jones Street. At what time, one never knew. But he'd suddenly be there with a bottle of whiskey or like Jim Dean. <clears throat> and he'd bring uh, this uh, Norgran EP of Lester Young. And he had his little portable photograph, plop it on the table. And he put it on, start drinking, and continued to go on until the bottle was finished. And we'd listen to Lester God knows how many times. And I remember one time when he left, he sort of apologized for doing it again, coming in unannounced uh, and getting buzzed and listening to Lester and weeping. He was a great weeper. No, I, I bond with guys who can weep. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, I cry at commercials. So. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm easy. Uh, but um, he told me this thing, which, of course, I've never forgotten. He said, yeah, David, you know, thanks for letting me bend your ear. But you know, it's the truth. Most people would like to have a Van Gogh in their living room, but most people would not want Van Gogh. <laughs>